All right, so in the last video, I mentioned that we're going to move the header component and its styles and the footer component out to their own components. So before I get started, I do want to mention that in general, I actually prefer not to do this. I don't want to split it into two small components because then it becomes like drilling down into deeper, deeper things. Maybe the header on its own, I'd put in its own component, but not the footer because the footer is so simple. Although with the script here, you know, it does start to bulk up. But for teaching purposes, it's good to know how this works. And also it's going to be easier for us to work with now since we have this small limited teaching space to work with. Generally, I'm on two massive monitors and I don't mind bigger folders to scroll with because I have to scroll quite little to see everything really. Anyways, let's dive into this. So inside source, I'm going to right click on that and click new folder. And I'm going to make a folder called lib. Lib is for library. And this is actually like a reserved, I wouldn't say reserved name, but like it's a special name. If you call a folder lib in source with Svelte kit, it knows, hey, this is the like special shared folder. And there's actually like a, a default path to it, but I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to make a new file called header.svelte. Now, bear in mind, you can make this a capital H or not. Like it's up to you. You can choose what you want to call it. Um, but I'm going to do the lowercase thing just because that's what I like to do. So I'm going to close these other ones, uh, although I will open layout again. And we're going to copy this header here. We're going to take it out and we're going to put it in here. Fantastic. And now what I can do is up here on top of the script file, I can import header from, and now I can actually do dollar sign lib because this actually goes to our lib and then say slash header dot spelt like that and wow now we have access to our header and we can put our header here and this is going to work i haven't saved yet because i want to mention that these styles over here are no longer going to work because this is scoped to this layout file not to that header spelt file over there so you would expect the styles to remain the same but when i save you'll see i lose all my header styles now the solution to this is simple. I'm just gonna cut this out here. Let's control X, save that. Doesn't make a difference because it wasn't picking up anywhere. And then in here, I'm going to add a style tag. Now bear in mind, this doesn't work because I have to add lang s css to it. Like that. And there we go, everything works again. Now I'm going to do the same with the footer. So the footer, bear in mind, everything for the footer is just this and the script. And then there are some styling stuff as well. So I'm going to make a new folder, call it footer.svelte, just like that. If I wanted to, like this lib file would expand. I could make like a components folder in here. And then maybe like a utils for like other stuff that I might use and chuck these in there. But... This project's not going to be that big, so I'm not going to bother with that. But I want to point out that you can say like slash lib slash components slash whatever if you wanted to. Uh, bear in mind, my icons look a bit different here. I am using the material theme, the material icon theme. That's this over here. Just wanted to mention that in case you notice that your stuff is different. I might have written it in a comment somewhere, but I haven't actually spoken about it on video. Anyway, that said, let's continue with filling our footer up. So I'm going to copy this over here. Or I'm going to cut it out. Save that. So our footer is missing now. Add it in here. And again, okay, first of all, date is not recognized. I have to go get this out of here. So I'm going to cut this date field out. I still need this import part here. And we're going to make a script at the top to get our current year. There we go. Problem solved. And again, I'm going to show you the style thing. Remember, we haven't moved style ever. So we're going to get, uh, again, dollar sign, lib slash footer, or whatever you name the file. Like, bear in mind, it's okay to deviate from the way I do things. It might even improve your understanding. So don't stress if you do stuff slightly different to me. And now we're going to say footer in here. Now, two things. Obviously, the styling is not there. That's because 
my footer is down here. But the cool thing is there's a small little yellow line here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says unused CSS selector footer. So it's nice. That's part of like the ESLint stuff. It's like, hey, you're doing something wrong. Anyways, we're going to take this out. I've cut it, so I do have it in memory. And then down here, I'm going to say style. And in this case, I don't need to say lang scss because this doesn't have any nested you know stuff if i had this and then p in there then it would freak out about the styling with sass but because we're not using sass i'm not going to say that hey this is sass like read it that way because that's just a waste of effort and bam i like feeds copyrighted 2021 is back just as expected so in the next video we're going to go through routing but this one has been a nice short one just to show you exactly how things are working so let me just recap what we've just done in layout we now have a header and footer we import it from lib header svelte footer svelte etc uh maybe i should show you one thing that we could do so here's footer as we expected we know it's got the script the footer style it's quite nice that it's self-contained and here is header now let's say I wanted to make this dynamic, like let's call this actual like title and we have, so I'm wrapping in curly brackets, bear in mind, I'd, same thing as what I do for the date in footer and I'm going to add a script and this script is going to say export let title and this essentially means that this is going to expect a title, which currently it's undefined. But that means in layout, you can see layouts already complaining. This can have a title and we're going to say, what we're we calling it? Surf spots. I'll save that. That works. It actually goes through here. And that's quite cool. Uh, another way we can do this is we can make that optional. So here it's still freaking out because it's not optional. But I can make it optional by just saying equals, uh, again, surf spots. And then suddenly... It's accepted to be optional, like it's okay to be optional. This this essentially says, okay, if it's undefined, then we're going to default it to that. So that's just a neat little trick. Might as well keep that in there because, hey, it's like showing you how props work. If you're familiar with React, that's how props work. We can say title equals surf spots. And if I change that to spots, changes. There we go. So that's how props work. You say, you set the prop here. And you receive it on this end through this export let. It's a weird syntax at the start to get used to. But as you work with this, you'll become very familiar with it. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.